Well, here's a treat. She's called Idle Alice. She's a 60-foot traditional stern narrowboat built by G&J Reeves in 2003 and fitted out by Merlin Narrowboats. She's been in the same hand since launch and she's been so well looked after. The paintwork's original and in really, really good condition. Inside and out, she's immaculate. It's a real treat to show you this boat. She's just coming in for sale here. That's Matt driving. Reversing. She was last blacked in September 2018. She was supposed to be done this March, but lockdown got in the way. The engine was serviced last in November 2019, but it's not been used very much since, hence the sale. Probably get a feel of the paintwork here. It's really good. 17 years old, which is really, really tidy. The cratch cover is in really good condition. The well deck itself is good size, it's five feet long. The gas bottles are in the forward, there's a classic Reeves nose there. Gas bottles are in the forward locker there. And the well deck's got seats all the way around it, bench seats with storage underneath, little table in the middle, glazed cratch board. That table's quite cleverly fashioned with a container underneath for storing bits and pieces. I think the hose is in there. Stable doors, glazed, and then we go. Look at this fit out. It's absolutely stunning. It's oak with cherry trim. The floor is absolutely beautiful. That's Antico flooring. And the woodwork's really, really quite something actually. Lots of cupboards here in the saloon. Televisions in here. All good solid wood. The stove itself is a diesel fired stove. It's a more so squirrel. It's got its own separate diesel tank in the well deck there. Storage under the step. Another cupboard here. That's a CD player. There's a really lovely illuminated, I suppose, cabinet for glasses or something above that. Lovely curtains. And the gunnel cupboards on the starboard side here. And a really charming little um, armchair there. Lighting on the boat is mostly halogen. And there's a gate leg table here. That serves as the dining table with this L-shaped couch. The couch itself has got storage underneath. and turns in very easily, actually, into a spare double berth. Side hatch on the port side. And there's a... Um, Perspex insert there to keep the weather out. Lovely wall lights. And there's a view forward. Really charming room. Absolutely lovely. Galley's next. The saloon, by the way, was 14 feet long, including the dinette, and the galley is seven and a half feet long. Four burner gas hob. Storage is really one feature on this boat. There's lots of it. You'll probably get a feel as I go through. There's a larder cupboard here. That just pulls out. Sliding windows. Quite useful. And over here is a tower of the microwave at the top. There's the grill. Underneath that is the oven and below that is the 12 volt LEC fridge with an ice box in there. It's just left open so it doesn't get manky. Cupboard over here. I love this diagonal tongue and groove. The sink's on this side, there's another sliding window over that. A huge cupboard underneath, the bins attached to the inside of that left hand door. And a bank of four good sized drawers to the right. Everything you could need in here really. Love that curved woodwork delineate, delineating the galley from the from the couch area. Corridor on the starboard side. There's cushions there for the front seat. And the bathroom sits here. The loo itself is a Mans Mansfield macerator pump out, it's vacuum flush, it's 
Got a large holding tank, that 270 litres, ceramic sink. Covered over the basin with a mirror on it. The radiator here and a bath there. The shower's over that with a trifold glass door. I want to mention the heating. There's a radiator there. The rest of the boat is heated by an Eberspacker system. It's got fin rads through the boats, so floor level radiator down the length of the boat. Here's a door. If you do have guests on board sleeping in the forward part of the boat, that gives you some privacy. And there is a second bathroom at the back, so you can be fairly independent of each other. Lovely bedroom. Love this room. The bed's a king size. It's a cross bed. Five feet wide. Six feet two inches long. Huge. And cupboards everywhere in here. Over the bed. Shelves. This side of the bed. There's a locker there. There's a large wardrobe here. The light comes on when you open it. And there's a dressing mirror inside that door. And the storage underneath that, you might have seen the, the door. And on the other side of the bed, the same really. A locker by the side of the bed. And another wardrobe. Light comes on. Hey presto. And a drawer underneath it as well. I suppose that's a logical place for shoes. Or the cat. Another side hatch in here. It's quite a nice feature. And here's the second loo, stroke utility room. It's brilliant, this room. There's the washing machine. This is a Zanussi. Large linen cupboard over it. The benefit of a loo either side of a cross bed is you don't have to climb over each other to get to where you need to go in the middle of the night. That's a cassette loo. Two spare cassettes on board and there's a basin there. Cupboard's over. And this is brilliant. If you don't really want to use this as a spare loo, these bits fold down and they just become work surfaces, I suppose, for folding, washing or, or whatever, really. Ingenious. Great little rim. Moving off to the engine room, in there is the Beta 43. There's only 2,800 hours on that. It's not a lot at all. It's been well looked after. There's the travel powered generator. <coughs> Battery charger and the 1500 watt master volt inverter. So 230 volts isn't a problem on this, this boat. You've got a 3.5 kilowatt travel power generator and the inverter. Landline as well, of course. 12 volts is a good size of domestic batteries. A good bank of domestic batteries, rather. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Eberspacker, or there is actually an immersion heater on board as well. I love this boat. Feels really homely, really cosy. Navigation equipment, myriads of. There's an anchor, pole, hook, plank, there's a ladder, mooring pins, chains. She's ready to go. So I've dragged myself off this boat. Idle Alice. Plenty of photographs. A downloadable colour brochure and the spec on our website as well as the price www.rugbyboats.co.uk